Welcome to Chess Pets. This is a marketplace add-on created by Float Studios. This add-on is priced at 990 Minecraft coins. That's £4.99. It's roughly $6. This add-on can be applied to pre-existing or brand new worlds. It can also be applied with pre-existing add-ons. I currently have over 22 add-ons installed. Enable the behaviors pack, double check your resource pack, make sure it's currently active, and then you're good to go. When you load into the world for the very first time, you will end up with the Chess Pets tutorial. This is a book that you can place down, and it says, craft your very own Chess Pets, upgrade and customize into the perfect Minecraft companion, fight mimics spawning at night throughout the world, gain Chess Pet hearts, used to awaken your chest pets and here is all the type of hearts that you are able to get moving on to mimics mimics spawn at night usually around villages defeating a mimic will drop a chest pet heart use these to awaken your chest pet mimics may also drop hats you will start with this this is chesto place him down so we need to awaken him he's currently snoring aha that makes sense as to why we have this so this will be used. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. This will be used to awaken him. I, I don't know. I don't know where bro's going. I also noticed if you place this down and go out of range, it will automatically go inside of your inventory, which I thought was a nice touch, especially if you just forget to pick it up. Anyway, moving on, we need to make ourselves a dormant heart. And to do this, we're going to need glass and emeralds. But do we also need this, which we actually used in order to awaken Mr. Chesto. Players will also be given the chest wand, which can be used to make Chesto stay, but he doesn't like to stay. He's like, why are you leaving me all alone? Anyway, I need to leave him here just while we go and get the needed ingredients. If we place eight glass around the outside and one emerald, you will end up with a dormant heart. Now, according to the book, you can actually make multiple of the chestos now that it's nighttime if you want to find yourself some mimics they can be found and located inside of villages oh, there we go there's one of them wait there's two of them okay let's kill you so oh he died straight away aha so we might as well get ourselves the chest heart there's another one how strong are you though i mean he took a heart off me go get him chesto get him chesto's not happy look at those angry eyes Who's stronger, though? That's the question. Come on. Obviously, you're able to upgrade Chesto, and that's the whole point of this. Okay, we're just going to kill him. So he now we have two of these. If we were to grab one of these and this, would it make another dormant heart? Now, I don't want to do this because I feel like the hearts are going to be useful. No. So I, I don't generally know what this recipe right here is all about. I correct myself. You just have to do it inside of a crafting table. You can't actually do this inside of the player's inventory, which, in my opinion, kind of really sucks. According to the tutorial, it looks like the dormant hearts are used in every single recipe. So I think the best thing for us to do here is just make a bunch of these by killing mimics. It looks like the mimics can have different kinds of hats too. And I'm curious, do they actually drop these? We managed to get ourselves a chest pet flower crown, which can this be placed on Chesto? Hey, it can. Turns out there's a bunch of different cosmetics. You can have horns. There is a traffic cone hat and even a top hat. Now, if I open up his inventory, though, the only downside to this is if he already has something on and then you try and re-equip something new, let's say he had horns on, and you put the top hat on, you actually lose the previous item, which is quite disappointing. I definitely think there's a few quality of life features that this add-on could do with. Like, these aren't even shapeless either. I think it's small things like that that just make a very, very big difference. Might not seem like a big problem, which it probably isn't, but just make life a little bit easier for players. It is pretty obvious, but of course, you can give them items to hold. Probably best to make them sit before you even attempt to do this, though. He's so cute. I love the eyes on him. So let's give him a crafting table. Or let's give him this because I'll keep a crafting table on me. 
Let's place this crafting table down, in fact. And let's make a couple of the custom recipes. It might have been like this. Was it actually four that we needed? And then we go with one of them in the middle. And then this gives him the lantern one. Which, there you go. There's the upgrade. But I did just notice, though, when we did that, it actually, it actually overlaps the path. So there is a slight bug with this, and this was also a problem with the hiker's friend. And I believe this is just something that Mojang and Minecraft haven't given add-on creators the power to do yet. Because it updates as like a block, a full block. So you know the light block that we have in Minecraft? It basically plonks them down. I'm also able to make the saddle version, which gives you the ability to ride Chesto. However, if I give him this which we've just done, he still retains his previous attributes. The thing I'm trying to figure out here is how on earth do you extract the previous attributes? Because yeah, unless it just makes, unless you can just have all of these on in one go, keep an eye on the blocks around me because Chesto has the lantern effect. Everything starts to be brighter in real time. Two pretty cool attributes is we have the scary heart and if crafted, Cheeto will scare off creepers and the shoe's heart, if crafted, Chesto will run faster. Let's make number one, and let's make number two, and let's apply these. So, my Cheeto is going to be so powerful. At the same time, you're also able to ride him as well. It kind of annoys me with the whole grass path thing, but I can deal with that for now. So, we can get on top, and he should be even faster than before. However, the only annoying thing here, though, is he doesn't automatically jump up blocks you actually have to make him jump yourself. It turns out not only will Chesto protect you from creepers getting close, but he will also attack them as well. Now, right now, Chesto's not necessarily that strong. So I think we need to upgrade some of his strength hearts. You can still kind of explode if you get a little bit too close, though. To make him stronger, we can give him the sword heart. Chesto will equip a sword, increasing attack damage. Along with this one, which is wooden turret heart, gives Chesto a weak range to turrets. And I'm curious if they will actually attack other mobs from different kinds of add-ons. So we'll give you the sword. There you go. And we'll give him the turrets. Bro is starting to become incredibly overpowered. Here we go. This is a perfect example. The zombies from the other add-ons. Come on, Chesto. Come on, Chesto. Get him. Seems to take a little bit of time to get over here, though, doesn't he? In fact, he doesn't actually seem to want to attack him at all. I can confirm it doesn't look like Chesto will attack other mobs that are available through add-ons. So now that Chesto has a sword, how many attacks does it take on a creeper in order to bring them down? That looks like a second hit, and that looks like a third one. So a big difference. Alongside the wooden turret, we also have the iron one, the diamond one, and the netherite one. So obviously these are going to be higher upgrades for Chesto. I'm trying to keep an eye on them. You can actually see how the color was changing there. But I haven't actually physically seen the turret in action. For the sake of today's video, I just want to show you how the turrets work. If a mob is out of range of Chesto, he will then begin to use his turrets. Eventually, this will knock the mob off a block, for example, and he will be able to attack them using his melee range. As you can see, the uh, AI of this isn't exactly perfect. If Chesto is underneath, you'll see it doesn't work great. So he kind of needs to be on an angle. <laughs> but you can see the amount of arrows he's trying to fire and it's not working very well. So let's see if we get him out of range a little bit. Can you hit him now? There you go. So yeah, it's just a little bit clunky. And I think the add-on overall has felt a little bit clunky. Just like a regular player, you can give Chesto wings. Now he will fly. And the biggest question I have here is... Is Chesto going to fly with me? That's the biggest question I have. Now, his flight doesn't seem to be as great as mine. So what I'll do is I'll land up here on the panda. And does he fly? I mean, no <laughs> is going to be my answer to this. We'll try it one more time. Let's say we land up over here. So he does have wings but it's, it's more of a floating kind of animation. 
Yeah, and eventually he'll just teleport to you. There is a lucky chest heart. When placed down, what this is going to do inside of your inventory is give you one of the random effects that Chesto can do. We also have the beacon as well. So does that just make mean that he has like a special effect? Now he's starting to fly a little bit. Forward slash game mode S. So he has a beacon effect. This one, I think, will make him go a little bit faster. Um... How do I use this on you then? Because I don't fully know how... Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. Oh, so now we end up with like super jump, which is pretty okay. You are also able to change the color of Chesto. So if you wanted him to be green or in fact yellow, or you wanted him to be blue, you're able to change the specific color of him. So we'll change him to yellow... Uh, we'll change him to blue. We'll change him to green. It's hard to see, especially when you've got all of these cosmetics on him. The add-on also comes with a couple of different cosmetics as well, down to a straw hat, the chef hat, pirate hat, pet builder's hat, and even a froggo hat. Unfortunately, I think the add-on is just a little bit too clunky, and I would consider this one to be a little bit overpriced for what you actually get. In my opinion, I would be avoiding this one.